Uh, now that this is over, you're going to see a lot more stores carrying CBD products again um, because there's nothing wrong with it. A Central Ohio vape shop owner is feeling defeated tonight after agents raided his shop and seized his inventory. Now, a year later, he's getting those bottles back, but not the lost time and the business over them. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Colleen Marshall. I'm Mark Taylor. The Union County Sheriff's Office originally confiscated those bottles of CBD out of suspicion that they were a liquid form of marijuana. NBC 4's Ted Hart joining us live from the Poor Boys Smoke Shop with a closer look at what exactly CBD is and what happened during this investigation. Ted? Well, and Mark, this is it, CBD oil, cannabidiol, and a bottle this size sells for about $60 here at Poor Boy's Smoke Shop in Marysville. It is derived from the stalks of hemp plant, but the law is really rather murky about whether it's legal or not. This one here is called Purple Haze. Poor Boy's owner Tom Neal points out the bottles of oil returned, now with evidence stickers. Um, because we knew we were innocent, um, and we knew if we played our cards right at the end and the truth was going to come out. Um, we just didn't think it was going to take this long. It's CBD, cannabidiol, derived, he says, from the stalks of hemp plants. His oils have only traces, if any, of THC, the psychoactive component of marijuana. CBD is classified as a Schedule I drug, but proving what part of the plant the oils come from would make prosecuting difficult. So the county prosecutor declined to press charges. Todd Trimble has used CBD oils to help treat his PTSD. He says there's no high involved. I'm not sure scientifically how it all works, you know, um, but I know that it did help. I used it for a couple of years. People have described CBD as helping with seizures, panic attacks, and other health conditions. It's a big win for the CBD industry. Tom Neal says a lot of vape businesses have been sitting on the sidelines waiting to see how this case is resolved. He won't condemn what happened, but wonders why authorities didn't do more homework before raiding his store. He hopes, now that it's over, to make up for lost time and lost business. We have a very good clientele that's been using it and used it for a long time, and I'm sure they're going to come back and start getting it again. And Tom says all of that product that was returned to him after having been in police custody for more than a year will likely have to be destroyed. He says he's not sure whether, whether he'll be able to recoup anything from his losses. Live in Marysville, Ted Hart, NBC4.